Hi, welcome to the new video. Today I'm doing the Samurai. I used black and white as opaque colors, the rest of the colors are transparent, and the painting surface is a chroma lux board. Um, I already painted the white, and now I'm doing um, the border. This is new stencil set where you get uh, two sets with nine different uh, of these uh, structures, so you can make a nice border at the painting. So, uh, all the borders are the same, so we have like one part is stays black and the other part you can paint white. So now I'm doing some um, smoke structures for the background. The white I already uh, painted with the uh, cover stencil negative. And now I'm starting with the first black. And in this stencil I'm painting everything in full black. And also used a little bit of uh, spray glue for the background of this stencil. So that everything stays down. And there you have it. The old stencil set has about four and a half thousand vector points, which means this that this picture has four and a half thousand uh, small details that now are painted in like 12 minutes. And it's a nine part stencil set. And now comes the grey. And uh, you can paint it just in one color, but you also can uh, paint parts darker, like the gloves there, and uh, parts that uh, are in the shadow. And now I'm doing the colors. For this I'm using um, a light brown. And I'm also using uh, a yellow for the swords and uh, the helmet. Now the dark blue was a little bit clogged, so I just done a quick repair. And I'm now using a little bit of dark blue, so that you get like a metally look. So not too much.
And now I um, um, decided to do a bright red uh, armor. So this uh, are the, the parts that are not the armor. So there I'm using a little bit of red and the uh, light brown again. And now comes the color of the armor. Like I said, I'm doing a bright red. And I'm painting everything red now. And later I'm using the purple for some darker red tones. Although uh, with the combination of the the gray that I used earlier, you have also here variations of the gray of the red tone. But it's quite easy to put in the second tone there, so you get like a broader variations of the colors. So that is for the color part. Uh, now I'm using the cover stencil to fill in the part between the sword and the arm. And I'm doing some drop shadow for the the legs. And I'm using some black to tone some parts down a little bit. And then there's the background and the final white. So I'm doing the uh, background first. Because I have the uh, bright red there, um, it's a complementary contrast to use a green as the background color so the samurai really nicely pops out of the picture. And in addition to the green I'm also using a yellow and a dark blue. So and with the yellow I get like uh, a lime green and with the blue I get a dark green. And again it's like nice to have like a, a nice color variations on the on the surface. So that's the advantage of the uh, transparent colors that you can mix directly on the surface. So now I'm doing the um, the horizon a little bit with white. And there you have it that the red is really popping out of the, the picture. So now comes the final white. And there I am not painting with full opacity, so I'll try to, to use it only on the uh, metal stuff, so like the armor or the swords. And on the rest, I try to use less opacity.
so on there you have it now I'm doing some a little bit of white smoke for the background just like slightly smoky shaped and later I'm putting down some green over the white but well, there you have like a little bit of more detail for the background and it's quickly done and like I said I'm using the green and the cover stencil and then the picture is nearly finished and um, if you like it you can subscribe to my youtube channel there are now over 750 videos with this stencil technique in airbrush okay bye